Yo, what up, 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 son? Welcome back to X Productions. I'm the Bizzle, aka the Unknown Producer, and we could continue with this Roxanne saga. I had UTFO made a song, Roxanne, Roxanne. Roxanne Shantae comes back with Roxanne's Revenge. What's next? The real Roxanne got something to say, son. And that's what I'm doing today. The real Roxanne, yo. Okay, so here we go with the real Roxanne. All right, by the real Roxanne. <laughs> I love it. Yo, Kango. Yeah, what's up, girl? I'm the real Roxanne, and I rock your world. But you're all stuck up. Well, you say that, because I wouldn't give guys like you no rap. I was walking down the street in the afternoon. I gave you a smile, so you assumed that if you said hello, I wouldn't be flattered. But I kept walking, and your ego was shattered. I'm Roxanne, the lady devastator. I make it feel hotter than it is in Grenada. The R-O-X-A-N-N-E. Roxanne is who I be. And Kango King. You might be cute, but you ain't getting this cause you're much too soon. You wear that samurai sword on the side. I told all my friends and we all just died. I laughed so hard that my face turned blue. Why be a MC? You should learn kung fu. And by the way, if I'm such a crab, why all your girls look like scabs? First you call me a peach. The doctor wants to take me to the beach. I got a little rhyme for you each. I seen your girls, they both need at least such bow wow babies. I think they got rabies. You think you're touching me, boy, you must be crazy. You got your nerve to want to be my man. They call me the real. Roxanne, Roxanne, can't you understand? Roxanne, Roxanne, I want to be your man. Now, educated rapper, I'm going to give you a fit. Because when you tried to talk to me, you was full of shit. You see, the truth and the fact is that I don't need you. Your IQ is really 1.2. I don't like your rap because your rap is dead. Educated rapper, no sense in your head. So when you met me, I paid you no mind. Dictionary breath, you're one of a kind. You said your name was Gary, didn't choose to call you Barry. Didn't care if your name was Mother Matter Harry. I choose to call you Sunny because you have a tummy. My father's not a furry, you're the one who walks with funny. Your nose is always runny, you look like Bugs Bunny. All your raps are old, ancient as a mummy. Your house is so slummy, your clothes are so bummy. But now that you're here back, and all I want is your money. Educated rapper, you ain't nothing but a dummy. You try to be chummy, or you play as Jim Rummy. I bet make a love to you, but it's really be crummy. You say it's customary to give you commentary. I say it's crappy, full of strawberries. Your rap is so weak, and your face is so scary. You always find a rap like yours in any cemetery. So do you know you didn't even pass? All you received was a kick in the ass. That's what you did, cause I had enough And that right mix master ice cream puff When I heard this record, I said Who's the producers? A group named Full Force? A bunch of losers there singing group So how should they know? Putting out records with UTFO I'm what's happening, I know that's a fact So UTFO, what's that? Since I'm the new girl around the block, the Kango kid and especially Doc would like to sleep with me if he can. But you're just a boy, you're not even a man. The girls on your name is getting around. Dr. Ice, you're the laugh of the town. You try to throw a game, but it wasn't working out. You lied about the beach, you took me to your house. I said, me, the rocks, give up the box so you can brag about it for the next six blocks. She, you must be crazy, you're going too fast. Doctor, I don't know where your hands been last. You can't fool me, cause down beneath You're a hood, a crook, a liar, a thief I know how you operate from the start You like to break that, so you like to break hearts So listen up, cause I don't say this every day Ho girl, huh, here's how the doctor plays The only operating that you do Is ripping off cars in a minute or two You stole Larry last Cadillac Sold it back and kept the hubcaps You are the one, you thought you had me rope But you hung yourself with your own stethoscope You said, ooh now what the hell was that? Your voice went high, now it sounds real wet. You call me at 9 to arrange a day. I said, meet me at the beach and don't be late. But did you meet him at the beach? Hells no. In the middle of December when it's 20 below, I'm the real. Roxanne, Roxanne, I want to be your man. Roxanne, Roxanne, and here's our game plan. Where's the beat? You guys can't deal it. I need a man who can make me feel it.
Yo, that's the real Roxanne. That's the right answer. Okay, that was the prop. How can I say? That was the proper answer to UTFO's Roxanne, Roxanne, the real Roxanne, because they both down with each other's camp. So they knew they wanted an answer song. But in between that, the real Roxanne, excuse me, Roxanne Shantae came in and threw some discs, but they wasn't expecting, like, oh shit, where'd that come from? You know what I mean? So that's part of the Roxanne saga, son. And then there's plenty more. I'm not going to get into, but I do want to get into another song by the real Roxanne, too. I'm going to give you two for one, Roxanne's. All right? Be right back. Okay. Now, this one is called Bang Zoom. Let's go, go. And this is about the real Roxanne, the one who just did the real Roxanne song, answer song to your TFOs. Um, Roxanne, Roxanne. And I like this one because it was, it was more of her personality and her, you know. You could tell like the first one was written as an answer to this, but this pretty much gives you uh, insight to what she can do, you know. And it was hot. It's get a lot of burn. And I like I liked, I liked the little go-go feel to it. That little DC go-go feel to it. But it was, it was hot around this time. So let's get into it, all right? Let's go. Yes. You are not rocking with the best. Can I get a hit, Howie? Thank you. For I am the sure shock and head clock and anything but not rocking. Hip hop and Reebok and wear and tear and giving up to rock all the people in the place to me. Can you hit me two times, Howie? Thank you. I'm going to put some karate in your body, some rhymes in your mind. Just the MC luck and I don't give a what we're going to do. Ha, what we're going to do. What we're going to do won't be no bummer. We're going to rock like this straight through the summer as we cold break ill with the drummer. Hit me. <laughs> Anyone knows full force and how we tea, you know, you can hear it in this production. You know, you got full force doing the melody in the background, you know, and you have the real Roxanne rhyming. She got her own little style now. You could tell it. She sounds a little more confident in what she's writing because she's writing now and she's emceeing. Not something that they wrote and gave to her, but now she kind of developed in her own. Oh, I forgot to tell you, this dropped in 1986. 1986, when I graduated from high school, son. <laughs> yo, I remember this song so well, yo. But you got, like it says right there, Full Force, Real Roxanne, and Howie T. Bang Zoom, man. It was like, I liked this song when it came out, man. And it was pumping in the clubs. Make, made you dance and get up on some ass. Definitely. Let me rewind a little bit, yo. We get perfect scores. There is no flaws. If you think you can hang, they go for yours. Cause me and Howie, we're out of this party. We're out to use a drug stimulants or Bacardi. There is no doubt. My heart is in it. But hold up. Wait a minute, Howie T. Yo. Look around. So? There's no one listening. Get out of here. No. That's all right. Yeah, that's okay. We're, we're gonna, gonna rock you anyway. anyway. Cause it's happened before. The same way. And I think back, and then I play. Drifting on memory. Oh, forces in the place to be with you and me. Soon you will see. Na, na, na. That I'm rocking just for you. 
That's it. Real Roxanne. Bang Zoom. Let's go go. Had a go go beat, but I like that one because this was more her. I think this was like better than. It might not have, have, have done as good as when she came out with the Real Roxanne song because it was like one of the first answer songs to Roxanne, Roxanne by UTFO. But when this song came out, Howie teased the man. Like, I don't know. He's like. Like I said, like he produced um Antoinette when I when you know Howie T, um one of the reactions I did a little bit earlier for the forgotten female rappers of the golden age of hip hop, um and he did his thing on this, you know what I mean? But um what I want to say to you right now is hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, and leave them comments, son, and push notifications so you know when my shit drops, um. I'm just going all over. I'm not saying I'm going all over, but I'm giving you not just songs. I know some people want to just hear the song straight through and me reacting and oh ah ah, but that's not what this channel is about. This channel is giving you as much background as my personal knowledge can give you, and you can continue it, or you can or or or, or you cannot continue it. Secondly, what it does is the old niggas like me, the OGs like me. 
it gives you a remembrance a look back at what it was and you can share them comments and how you was you can share in the comments how it was or you can relate to it so I gotta give you a little background not just about the song but about that times how he was dressed what we was doing what I was doing I give you personal stories I mean I just told you a story about I told you a story just 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 like earlier about how my shorty left a note on my bed and cut me off yo because I didn't make the basketball team in college and she went with this other dude in college son and and, and that week and, and that's what caused my man to take me and do and go to the fat boys concert to see UTFO salt and pepper Dana Dane you know what I'm saying? Like, it was crazy. You know, like, I'm giving you personal stories, son. Like, yo, this is when I was growing up big from a young into a big little nigga and shit, you know? I had my first son when I was 22. You know? Not my first son. I had my first child when I was 22, my son. You know? And that was in 1992. 1992. You know what I'm saying? So... When I hear songs like this and stuff, it brings me back to a, to a time where I was, the mind was still developing, I was having fun, and I was on some other shit, immature shit, but having fun. That's what hip-hop was about. You know, you know, you live in the, when you live in the hood, whatever, and you grow up in the hood in certain sections and you black, you're going to experience a lot of hard shit. That's just the way it is, you know, but that's, that's, that's a given, you know what I'm saying? You deal with your environment, you know, and, and you figure out how to move within that. But I miss that. There's so many good times, man. So many good times me and my, my, my crew had, son. We had so much good times, man, because we used to be out, son. A lot of people I grew up with just wanted to chill around the, around the neighborhood, not leave the block. But we was going to Brooklyn. We was going to Queens. We was going. We even went to Staten Island. We was going to Philly. We was going to Jersey. We was going to Atlanta. We was going to Philly. We was going to D.C. You know what I'm saying? We was going to Virginia. We, whenever there was something where there was a lot of young black youth, an event, we was like, okay, we're going to that shit. We're going to that. We're going to that. And niggas did not want to miss that shit. You know? And then on top of that, when we was home, we was going to the hottest clubs. Son, the clubs, clubs that was happening back then, the rooftop, <coughs> 1018, the Palladium, um, Nell's Diner, no, Nell's, Big City Diner, um, the Soul Kitchen, which was Nell's, yeah, Soul Kitchen was Nell's, on certain nights it was the Soul Kitchen, I remember they sell, they sell 40s and wings in there, and they would just play old school hip hop, and they would play like like um R&B classics, like classic R&B. You know what I mean? Um, what else? Where else did we go to? We used to go to the World. We used to go to the Sound Factory. We used to go to um the Garage. We used to go to Mars. I remember went to Mars one time, and I saw DMC from Run DMC. Yo, he walked right past me on the dance floor. I was like, holy shit, son. Yo, we was always in the happening clubs. What are the clubs that we go to? Um, Latin Quarters we used to go to. And, like, you can look up all these clubs I'm saying. You know what I'm saying? If you're from New York, you already know. The Tunnel. Oh, my God, son. The Tunnel. I only went to the Tunnel, I think, twice. Because it's hard to get into. And the Tunnel was rough, yo. Because there was a time in the Tunnel when Flex was running that shit, yo. And it was like, yo, you get into the Tunnel... You had to be like, you had to be right. You had to be geared up, fly right. You had to be crewed down. You know what I'm saying? You had to run. When you when you had to be deep when you go to the tunnel. You can't be just like you and your man or just you or you and your girl. You know, you got to be deep. You have to be deep. But the tunnel was the shit, son, getting into the tunnel. Oh, my God. Tunnel on a Sunday night? Oh, my God. Tunnel on a Sunday night with flex spinning? Oh, what? Yo, memory, son. Yo. Yo, thank you for hitting on my channel, The X Productions. I'm The Biz Zone, a.k.a. The Unknown Producer. And hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. Leave them comments and push notifications. You got to do it so you know my shit drops, son. And we're going to continue this again. Thank you for showing up. And remember, I hit that 200. Thank you. Peace, y'all.